Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How was your day? Fine, thank you. Okay. And you? It was a good day. Yes, thank you for asking. Yes, okay. We are going to start our class number 13. Can you imagine? We are missing only three more classes and then we are done or we are finished. Okay, Um. today, uh, let me see. I need to start by taking the attendance. Okay, so please say present or here when I mention your name. And if it's possible, turn on your camera, please. Alejandro Joven. Ala Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Thank you, Ana. Andrea Sanchez. Betania Lopez. Braulio Velázquez. Carlos Martínez. Present. <laughs> we, we can't hear you, Carlos. No se le escucha, Carlos. Okay, Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, Claudia Yesenia Evora. Christopher Raul Peña. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Christopher. Damaris Castellano. Denis Eliseo Gutierrez. Doribel Arelia Riaza. Present teacher. Okay, Doribel. Eli Antonio. Present. Eli. Emmanuel Portales. Teacher, present. Ok, Braulio. <laughs> uh, what about Emmanuel Portales? Um, Eneida Verónica. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eneida. Eric Daniel Herrera. Fernando Arturo Mendoza. Okay, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, no problem. You can have it. I'm here, teacher. Irma Segura. Okay, Fernando. Irma Segura. Present, teacher. Thank you, Irma. Irma Suleima Grande. Present, teacher. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet Rosibel Rivas. Jennifer Marisol Iraeta. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer. Um, what about Jessica Susana Mancha? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jimmy Ramos. Not yet. Okay, thank you for connect, connecting on time. I'm so happy for that. And I can see some some new people with the camera on. Now I can see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, like Ali, for example. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, um, I'm going to share with you the class, the topic for this class today. And this is the class number 13. And I'm going to share it with you in a moment. Okay, class number 13, you're gonna have a review of the present simple. Okay, I think it's important to review this content or this topic. So we are gonna, in this lesson, you will be able to use simple present correctly. We have saying hello and goodbye, review simple present, writing a biography, and wrap up. So let's start with saying hello and saying goodbye. Okay, we have here some expressions, and you have to tell me which of these expressions are hello and which ones are goodbye. For example, hello, we have hey. What well, others? Which of these expressions we have? Bye. bye. 
Good morning, good night, goodbye, have a good day, hello. Hey, hi, how are you? How's it going? See you later, see you tomorrow. Hi. Okay, yes, hi. Another one? How are you? Yes. How are you? Or how are you? Uh, and what's up? Yes, that is another one. What's up? How is it going? Great. How's it going? How's it going? Another one? What is good morning? Hello or goodbye? Hello. Hello. Exactly. Okay, now with goodbye. Which good night. Is, good night, exactly. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. See you. See you. And see you, too. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. See you on Friday. See you on Monday, etc. See you soon. Can be toodles. Excuse me? We can say toodles, right? Como adiosito. Um, and that's new for me. Can you type it on the chat? Okay. Okay. What about have a good day or have a nice day? Mm -hmm. That is also a goodbye. Another one be also take care. Cuídate. Bye. Take care. Uh -huh. So those are different ways to say hello and to say goodbye. To say hello, to say goodbye. Okay, now guys, in the next activity, tutors, oh, <laughs> okay, you see that. Uh, in the next slide, we see, and you will see, uh -huh, we have to match the greetings with the best response. What is the best response? For example, have a good day. You say, thank you, you too. Hi, how are you? Okay. I'm so so. Hi, how are you? And you answer. Right. Very good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks. Pretty good. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. See, you. okay see, you. see you. See you. See you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Somebody has a problem. <laughs> okay. So now we are going to practice in class. Um, we need to vol. I need two volunteers to say hello to one person in the class, and another person to say goodbye to another person in the class. Okay, so I need two volunteers. 
Okay, that is Jessica. ¿A quién le va? ¿A quién va a saludar? Ah, uh, Jacqueline. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Jessica. Continue the conversation. Okay. How was your day? I'm fine. And you? A little bit tired. Okay. Now you can say goodbye. So, a pleasure talk with you, Jacqueline. Bye. See you, bye. <laughs> okay, Susana dijo, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to see you, or it was a pleasure uh, talk to you, or talking to you. There is another thing you can say. Okay, another couple of volunteers. Other two volunteers. Traula? O quien quien levanta la mano? Good evening, teacher. Okay, Braulio and Fernando. All right. Hey, Braulio. Hi, good evening, Fernando. How are you? Very good, man. And you? I'm fine. Very, very good. Hey, uh... How was your day? You are working? Acá, acá hay mucho we are ahorita. I am, I am working yet. Excuse me. Yes, Fernando, we can hear. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, bye, Fernando. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> okay. Very good. So those are the different ways and I hope that you can practice them. When we start the class, when we enter to the class, we can say hello to the classmate, okay? We can salute, we can say hello, we can say hi, how are you? How is it going? How was your day? Mm -hmm. How was work? Cómo estuvo tu trabajo, etc. Okay. Y en caso de 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 hey, good to see you, sería como más que todo en conversación o como ya como despedida. De despedida. It was nice to see you. Uh -huh. Fue bueno verte. Uh -huh. O si está hablando por teléfono, it was nice to hear you. Oh, it was, mm -hmm. it was nice talking to you, for example. Okay, my name is in the chat. Good. So now, guys, we're going to continue with the next part of the class, which is a review of the simple present. Okay. In this review, you will see, just, just give me one moment, I need to fix something here. Okay, do you remember the structure of simple present? What is the structure of the simple present? The structure of simple present? Subject. Yes. Uh -huh. It starts with subject and then? Yes. In present. Yes, subject, verb, and complement. Exactly. That's it. Subject, verb, complement. 
subject verb complement. Example, I like, I, the subject, like the verb and the complement teaching English. I like teaching English. You participate in class every day. He has a big house. She learns very quickly. It eats chicken and fish. We have class at 8 p.m. They go to the supermarket on weekend. So as you notice, it's very easy. It's just the subject, the verb, and the complement. But in the simple present affirmative, we have a special case with the third person singular. The third person singular, we need to add the S to the verb, right? She learns very quickly. It eats chicken and fish. And with the verb have, the third person form of the verb have is has. Okay? Has. So this is in the affirmative form. Now, uh, let's do the negative form. Let's make the negative form of these sentences, of these sentences. Let's start with the structure. The structure, what is the structure for negative form in the simple present? Subject. Plus. Don't. Doesn't. Exactly. Subject plus don't. Or doesn't. Exactly. Plus. The no. verb, exactly. We have subject, the auxiliary don't or doesn't, plus the base form of the verb. So if I have, I like teaching English in the negative form would be? I, I doesn't like, I don't like. Ah, exactly. I don't like teaching math, for example. <laughs> I like teaching English, but I don't like teaching math. In the next, you participate in class every day? What is the question in the negative form? You don't participate. Exactly, you don't participate. Or I, I wrote another example. You don't have class every day. And that's true, right? Because you don't have class on Wednesdays. So you don't have class every day. What about he has a big house? What would the negative form be? He doesn't. Because he doesn't, he doesn't have, have uh, or he doesn't have. Has. He doesn't have. He doesn't have. A ver, ¿quién le dicen have y quién le dicen has? Have, digo yo. Uh, have, okay. Why? Have. Por la forma, porque está en negativo. Y el auxiliar está, está, el auxiliar está. Very good, Braulio, because we have the auxiliary doesn't. So the auxiliary tells you is the third person singular. Uh -huh. So he doesn't have a big house. El verbo está en the base form. Solamente en el afirmativo vamos a agregar la S. Pero en el negativo. Y en preguntas, el verbo no cambia, sigue ¿sí? normal. Ahora, she learns very quickly. In negative form would be... Vaya, deje. <laughs> Ajá, negative form. She doesn't, she doesn't learn. learn very quickly. Exactly, she doesn't learn very quickly. It eats 
chicken and fish. It doesn't eat. It doesn't eat. Oh, it's only with one A, okay? <laughs> I, I made that mistake. And only one A here too. Ahí les ando poniendo las A a todo. <laughs> Sorry for that. Okay, we have class at 8 p.m. Negative. We don't go to the, sorry, we, we have class at 8 p.m. We don't have. Exactly, we don't have class at 9 p.m. We have class at 8 p.m., but we don't have, oh, sorry. In your case, <laughs> in your case is, is the opposite. You have class at eight, you don't have class at nine. No, sorry, you have class at nine, you don't have class at eight. <laughs> okay, they go to the supermarket on weekend. Negative form? They don't they go don't. to the supermarket. They don't they go. Don't. They don't go to the supermarket on weekends. Exactly. Very nice. So we have the simple person and the affirmative form and negative form. Affirmative and negative. Now, what about questions in the simple present? This, these same sentences in questions. Do you like teaching English? Ya ven que le, le pon, empezamos con el auxiliar do, sujeto, verbo y complemento. Do you like teaching English? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do you participate in class every day? Yes, I do. Of course, teacher. I participate in all the English classes. Now, with the third person singular, we use the auxiliary. <coughs> we use the auxiliary. Does. Does. Subject and base form of the verb. Does he have a big house? Yes, he does. Does she learn very quickly? No, she doesn't. So the structure, the structure, auxiliary, do or does, subject, verb, complement. And the verb is? in the base form, okay? So now, I would, I have some exercises to, to that we can do together, practicing the simple present. Ah, but before I will explain something else. In the third person singular affirmative, we have some rules, some Spelling rules, okay? With a third person affirmative, singular, uh, the majority of the cases, we just add S to the verb. For example, can me lee los ejemplos? Doribel, le gustaría leer los ejemplos? Okay, teacher. Estos, estos aquí, ahí donde está la flechita. Leor, Leor, Otra vez, Toribel, porque casi no le escuchamos. Se apagó su micrófono. Again. Work. Hoy sí, dice. Yes. Work, learn, learn, lead, lead, lead. stops, plays, wants and plays. Yes, thank you. So as you notice, the majority of the verbs we add yes, but if the verb ends in consonant plus Y, we delete the Y and add IES. Okay? Si termina en Y, quitamos the Y y agregamos IES. 
pero solamente se termina en consonante en Y. Por ejemplo, study, studies, cry, <laughs> cry, try, try, fly, fly, spy, fly, spy, rely, relies, worry, worry. Now, if the verb ends in X, O, F, 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 S, H, or C, H, we add E, -A -E F. For example, box, boxes, do, does, kiss, kisses, push, pushes, and catch, catches. Okay, watch, watches. Wash, washes, brush, brushes. Mm -hmm. Fix, fixes. We have some sections. For example, the verb be in the third person singular is is. The verb have is has. And the modal verbs like can, must, should, may, and might do not take F in the third person. Creo que de esto solo han estudiado can, ¿verdad? Pues el can no se le pone la F al verbo, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver algunos de estos ejercicios. Uh -huh. Vamos a practicar un poquito. Vamos a ver si pueden ver mi pantalla. Están viendo la regla, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, we are going to organize the verbs according to the rules for the third person singular. Uh, for example, here, open. Opens. Open. Okay, go. Go. Yes. Yes. Goes. Goes. Okay, uh, play. 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 Yes. Yes. Or I. Yes. I. Yes. 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 Well, in the case of place, yes, yes, yes. Place. Yes. yeah, it's place because we have a vowel before the Y, not a consonant, like supply. Supply, it has a consonant, right? Language. Or study or apply, we have L and Y. But in this case, we have a vowel here, so we just add the S. Uh, what about like? Likes. 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 Like. Cook. Cookies. Cookies. Cooks. Cookies. Cooks. I just have Cooks. the S. Cooks. Yes. Relax. Relaxes. 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 Okay. What about Please. study? Studies. I see, I see. I delete the Y and I write I E S. Okay, once. 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 Um, supply. Supplies. 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 Yes. Three pieces. No, just two. <laughs> Fly. Nice. 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 I I yes. Touch. 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 Dry. Dry. Throw. 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 Um, finish. 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 
Uh, try. Uh, yes, yes, try. Uh, do. 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 Like, um, enjoy. 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 We just have the F. Enjoy. 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 Solo le agrego la F y si se fijan tiene una vocal antes de la I. Enjoy. We just have the F. Eh, obey. 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 Exactly. Obey. And what about cry? Cry. 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 Yes. Cry. Cry. Eh, wish. Wishes. Wishes. Yes. And fix. Excess. 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 Yes. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. I'm not sure if we write it in the correct order, but those are right. The answers. Thank you. Now let's see if we can do the other exercise. Let's see. Oh, I, I had a problem with, with the PowerPoint presentation. Give me a moment, please. Yes. Okay. I will copy the link. Okay, this is very easy. It's a very easy exercise. You just have to tell me what is the correct form. He drinks or he drinks tea in the morning? He drinks. He drinks. Drinks. They he drinks tea in the morning. Have. 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 They have breakfast. Have goes. She goes. She goes. She goes. She goes. Love. No. 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 We love. We love. Doesn't. Michael Dawson. Michael Dawson. He does. 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 He Study. Every day. Every day. And they. They don't. They don't go. They don't go to school on Sunday. Or on Sunday. Sunday. Excellent. Congratulations. You did a pretty good job. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you can use the. Simple present tense correctly. Excellent. If you want to practice more, I will send you another link so you can practice the simple present tense. Now we're going to continue with the presentation. And then um, in the next activity, you are going to interview a partner. Um, you will work in pairs and you will ask your partner the questions like this. For example, what do you do? Do you study? Where do you study? Or do you work? Where do you work? Where do you live? How do you like? What's your favorite? 
what other questions can you make? Tell me other questions that we can ask your classmates in an interview to know about him or her and write a question. Oh, what? I couldn't. I couldn't hear you very well. Mm -hmm. What other questions can you ask? Where are you from? Okay, what are you from? It's similar to where do you live, but sometimes you are from one place and you live in another place. Uh, no. like it's Where do you study? Do you like here? Okay, where do you study? Another one, what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? What's your hobby? Or what's your hobby? Mm -hmm. do you do what uh -huh. sports do you play? Okay, what sports do you play? Do you play sports? What sports do you play? Another one could be, why do you study English? Porque estudias inglés. Why do you study English? Okay, so we have these questions. Other questions that you can make are, for example, when is your birthday? ¿Cuándo es su cumpleaños? O cuando... Oh, what is your birthday? ¿Cuál es tu fecha de nacimiento? Birth date. ¿Alguien? También para preguntar ¿Cuándo naciste? ¿O dónde? When and where were you born? ¿Cuándo y dónde naciste? When and where were you born? ¿Cuándo y dónde naciste? Y la respuesta se hace así. I was born in San Salvador on February 9th, 2001, for example. Yeah, as an example. I was born in San Salvador on February 9, 2000, 2001. <laughs> okay, so, or 1997, for example, or 1986, etc. I was born in San Salvador on February 9th, 1986. So be careful with the prepositions of time. So do you have any time? I will send a picture so you can have it. No tienes que hacerle todas las preguntas, solamente la cosa más importante. Lo voy a tomar otra que se mire mejor. Los voy a enviar a another one. I will send you into breakout rooms in the interview your partner. Los voy a mandar a las salitas, se entrevistan entre ustedes, toman nota y luego lo que van a hacer es escribir una, una biography. You will buy a biography. It says, use your notes from the exercise to write a biography of your partner. Don't use your partner's name on the paper. Use he or she instead. Example. 
My classmate is Duren. She lives near the university. She studies fashion design. She has a part in job in a restaurant, etc. So you will write about your classmate. Don't you want to tell us the name? But the others will guess. Usted escriba sobre él o ella. No escriba el nombre y los demás vamos a adivinar quién es. Entonces ahorita solo vamos a entrevistarnos. Si alguien no tiene compañero en la sala o, o la persona no puede participar, me, me indica para asignarles un compañero. ¿Ok? Um, ok. Permítame un momentito. Ok, hoy sí, ya, ya estamos. Hola, teacher. Yes, Irma. No sé con quién más solo. Con Janet Rosibel la había puesto. Ella ya entró. Solo falta que usted entre. Ok. Pero yo le di opción entrar. ¿No le sale? No. Mm, vaya, voy a ver si la puedo cambiar. Fernando Mendoza no puede entrar. I will only listen. I am working. Ah, okay, yet. you're working. Okay, don't worry. Jessica no puede entrar, Jessie. Ah, ya puedo entrar, ya estuvo. Así que, ay, ah, yo también voy a dar la respuesta. Quiero ver, I am from in Soyapango City. En you, Carlos, where are you from? From San Salvador. Okay. And you, Antonio, where are you from? I am from uh, Santa Ana. Oh, okay, very good. Santa Ana. Uh, where do you study, Carlos? I don't I don't know study in, the, in, in this moment. I work. Okay. I live in Japan. What about Oneida? Where do you live? I live um San Salvador. I live San Martin. Uh, do you okay. study? Yes, I do. Do you study? 
study. Do you study? Okay. I study. I study an English class. What do you do in your free time? On the free time, uh, and the and the watching TV and the listen to music, and. Um, go to the old business. That's all. Okay. What sport do you play? Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Alejandra, uh, when you answer those questions, you say, I watch TV. I listen uh, to music. I watch TV. I okay. listen to music. I go to my music. business. Go to my own business. That's all. <laughs> okay. Continue. What sport do you play? Uh, I do. Sibling, sería fitness, hermano. Ay, yo le escucho cortado. Permítame. Do you have siblings? Do you have sisters or brothers, Janet? Sisters or brothers? Siblings. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, in general, no. right? Uh -huh. Siblings is in general. Mm -hmm. okay. No? Don't, no. no brothers, no sisters? Me too. No. <laughs> you are only child? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are only child? Wow. Yes, and the first. <laughs> I have the two first brothers. Run. I have two you brothers really? and my sister. Oh no, <laughs> I just have uh, uncles and aunts. You don't have? No. Oh, my family is very big. I come from a big, big, big family. I have my... a lot of cousins. <laughs> Mine is small. Yeah, I can see. Yes, but I have two aunts and one uncle. Okay. From your mother's side or, or your father's side? From my mother's side. From your mother's side, okay. <laughs> Good. Take notes on the answers, okay? Okay. So. Okay. Where, where did you born? When was you were the artist? Hola. Uh -huh. Ajá. Me escuchó Jacqueline. Eh, más o menos. Bueno, la repetición. Se la repito. Sí. When at work were you born? I was I was born in San Salvador on April programs. Music programs. My program favorite movie. O tengo que decir alguna en particular sección como es mm. la no. movie. Mm -hmm. I watch movie. What movie? Action, Eva. Action. Action movies. Ay, tengo mi gato que me está calor de cabeza. Ay, lo siento, Oribel. Pero qué bueno que se conectó, aunque se sentía mal. ¿No he tomado algo? No. Ayer me tomé una pastilla para los nervios, pero este, como que eso me ha decaído peor, me he puesto. 
Es que ya tengo cuatro días de, de que no sabía de mi esposo hasta ahora. Estaba preocupada usted. You were worried. Pero está bien. Hasta ahora no ha hablado. Supuestamente está en migración. Sí, sí, sí. Mire, pues. Todo va a salir bien. Primero día. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um. I think. Did you Did you finish? Do you have the information of your classmate? Mm -hmm. mm. Poco teacher. Bye. Nos faltaron dar, algunas preguntas. Les voy a dar uno un minuto más para que terminen. Okay. ¿Cuál es la que falta? Que no contestamos. Todo me gusta. Todas me faltan las últimas. Okay, are you writing the biography of your classmate? Are you writing about him or her? Okay, if you are finished, can somebody share with the class your classmate's biography? And the others will guess who the person is. Okay, alguien que desea compartir? Y los demás adivinamos quién es la persona. Me, teacher. Okay, Anna. Okay. And uh, this person uh, work. She she live in San Salvador, and she study too. And her favorite color is purple. And 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 her favorite hobby is dancing. So she likes dancing, <laughs> she works, and she studies. Yes. yes. She works, she studies, she is from San Salvador. Her favorite color is purple. Okay, any idea, people? That class, do you have an idea who the person is? Is that... Is Jacqueline? Is Jacqueline? Janet. No. 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 <laughs> Jacqueline says if it's Janet. No. No. Is the Marie? No. <laughs> Is a Doriver? Doriver? Eh, Doriver no. Is a Yes. A Neida. Neida. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Another person, please share. Hi, teacher. Okay, Braulio. Okay, uh, he, he is your life. I'm sorry? He Santa is? Ana. He is your life. Oh, here's you live. Do, ¿Dónde uh, vive? 
Uh -huh. Solo sería he lives. He lives in. Ah, okay. Sorry. He lives in the Santa Ana. He lives in Santa Ana. Uh, yes. Uh, your hobby is um, video game. Play. Play video game. Playing video game. He likes playing video games. Bravo. Ellie. Ellie. No. Yes. Eli, <laughs> pero termine, Braulio. <laughs> finish. Yes, very good. But finish, finish the, the description. No, 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 la no la terminamos, pero eh, he, he is a star in the house y um you practice the poor video game he practices the sport mm -hmm. he practices the sports okay thank you Aurelio. okay um somebody else i think carlos Ana? no alguien que quiera compartir A ver, Janet. Uh, tal vez no se distorsiona la cámara, Tichi. Bye. Um, quiero ver, quiero ver. She's um, 20, 23 years old. He lived some sonate. He lives in Sonsonate, okay. Uh, she is voluntary. Okay. She is a volunteer. Um, sí, solamente eso pude por el tiempo ya. <laughs> okay. She's 23, she's from Sonsonate, and she's a volunteer. Yes. Carlos. It's she. Yeah. <laughs> Irma. Is she Irma? No. Is Jacqueline? No. Is Dori Bell? No. Is she Jessica Susana? Yes. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> okay. Um, a ver, ¿alguien más que quiere compartir? La última participación. The last participation. Me? Can be? Okay, okay, Susi. <laughs> yes, I'm from San Sonata, but actually I live in San Salvador. <laughs> okay. So, okay, I have a classmate and she's 30 years old. She's from Cojutepeque and she's a teacher. She <gasps> doesn't she doesn't have siblings, no brothers, no sisters. So that's all. No. Anne Elizabeth. She's close. No. No. Eneida. No. Damaris. Yo sé, Claudia. No. Ixienes. She's a teacher, Rocío. I'm not from Cojutepeque, but I'm sorry. I'm a teacher, yeah, but I'm not from Cojute. <laughs> Is it Janet? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Remember that when you share, you practice, and that's important. 
I just have a question for you guys. Uh, we have three more classes, and I would like to know which topics you would like to reinforce. Reforzar, reinforce. Which topics would you like to reinforce? Comparatives, present continuous, or more vocabulary, or more speaking activities? ¿Qué tema sienten que le gustaría reforzar más? Sobre los verbos que no se pueden conjugar. Should, will, and can. Como los modal, los modal verbs. <ríe> bueno, es. pero mira, ya hemos visto en la clase porque el que oh, creo que lo vieron en otro. G, would, ok, Jimmy, ese sí lo vimos en clase, en una clase. Can be would and comparative. Ok, I like that. Would and comparative. Ok. Nice. Thank you for your opinion. Ok, class, I hope you have a great night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, we have class on Friday. So, have a, uh, I need to take the last attendance, sorry. <laughs> I almost forget, so we'll do it quickly. Um, Jimmy Ramos. Here. Jessica, Susana. I'm here. Jennifer Marisol. I'm here. Janet Rosibel. Present teacher. Jacqueline Rebecca. Present. Emma Suleima. Present teacher. Jim Adriana. Present teacher. Fernando. I'm here, teacher. Eric Daniel. Eneida Verónica. Here, teacher. Emmanuel Portales. Elisa Andoval. Present. Doribel Arriaza. Present. Denis Eliseo. Damaris Castellanos. Present, teacher. Okay, and let me see. Eh, Christopher Peña. Christopher. Claudia Yesenia. Claudia María. Present teacher. Carlos Martínez. Present. Braulio Heriberto. Present. Andrea Sánchez. Ana García. Present. Alejandro Jovel. Present teacher. Okay, people. Thank you so much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. See you. Good night, see you. See you.